Wow, what a groundbreaking study that literally can help millions of individuals. Now keep in mind, we want to consider this a pilot study until further trials are conducted in individuals, particularly with either IBS, colitis, or any other issue related to a defective tight junction or intestinal tight junction barrier. You'll see more what I'm talking about in a few seconds, but however too, another caveat you must keep aware is the benefits of basically tightening, or I should say that uh, helping heal a tight junction barrier were isolated to one particular strain of lactobacillus acidophilus. That strain is LA1. There are other strains of lactobacillus acidophilus and other strains of probiotics, but the powerful outcome which we are about to review in this particular study was isolated to that one particular strain LA1. You'll see more what I mean in a second. Let us begin as follows. Probiotic lactobacillus acidophilus shows promise for treating inflammatory bowel disease and other intestinal inflammation disorders. Probiotic strain LA1 has a therapeutic effect that both prevents and treats inflammatory disorders caused by quote unquote leaky gut. Published April 20th, 2021, intestinal epithelial tight junctions, TJ would be known as, acts as a functional and structural barrier against harmful antigens that promote intestinal inflammation in inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, and other inflammatory conditions of the gut. A defective intestinal tight junction barrier, sometimes known as leaky gut, plays an important role in exacerbating and prolonging intestinal inflammation. New research reported shows that the probiotic lactobacillus acidophilus strain known as LA1 can generate a rapid and sustained enhancement of this defective intestinal barrier and effectively treat intestinal inflammation by preserving and restoring that intestinal barrier. The probiotic species lact lactobacillus acidophilus specifically once again to reiterate LA1 produced a rapid and marked increase in the intestinal tight junction barrier. Other strains within that lactobacillus acidophilus, they looked at LA2 and LA3, had no effect. Researchers found that this particular strain interacted with intestinal cells in a unique way to activate pathways that tightened the intestinal barrier, treating intestinal inflammation it attaches to the intestinal epithelial membrane surface, surface, surface by directly interacting with the toll-like receptor 2 complex, which alerts the intestine to trigger an immune response. Quote, unquote, our data indicated that LA1, and I am quoting, is able to prevent colonic inflammation, forma inflammation formation and promote colitis healing. Quoting the lead investigator. Quote, the lead implications of this present findings or these present findings are that this bacterial strain can be used in a wide variety of intestinal permeability disorders, including IBD, celiac disease, alcoholic liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, necrotizing enterocolitis to treat inflammation associated with the leaky gut, the LA1 strain of lactobacillus acidophilus. Again, consider this more of a pilot study until there are a larger human trials conducted. However, just the same in this small pilot study, the impact of lactobacillus acidophilus, LA strain number one, was profound and extremely promising for millions of individuals. Now I want to go to the abstract. And as well, the full published study is available to the public as well. So I do encourage you to follow the link uh, in reference to the full published study, especially if you're going to bring it to your medical practitioner for further review. To proceed as follows, abstract. For example, some studies suggest that lactobacillus acidophilus, lactobacillus casse, lactobacillus plantarum, lactobacillus rhamnosus cause a modest enhancement in the intestinal epithelial, epithelial, epithelial TJ barrier whereas others have found minimal or no effect of these probiotic species on the intestinal tight junction barrier. The major aim, the current study was to perform a high throughput screening of lactobacillus and other bacterial species to identify probiotic species that induce a rapid 
predictable and marked increase in the intestinal epithelial epithelial TJ barrier, tight junction barrier, and protect against the development of intestinal inflammation by preserving the intestinal tight junction barrier. In studies described herein, most product species tested, greater than 20 species or strains, had a modest or minimal effect on that tight junction intestinal barrier. Lactobacillus acidophilus, LA1, uniquely caused a rapid and marked increase in the intestinal tight junction barrier function. Further analysis indicate the effect of lactobacillus acidophilus was strain specific, limited to a specific strain of lactobacillus acidophilus and not to be continuously redundant, LA1, and did not extend to other lactobacillus acidophilus strains. All right, right off the bat, I know that you see a slight mention in reference to the LA1 strain of lactobacillus acidophilus at the bottom. A lot of companies uh, may market lactobacillus acidophilus. For example, the company which I own utilizes an LA, uh, LA14 strain, which has its own benefits, but it's not LA1. And we're currently on the hunt for LA1 as well. Now keep in mind too, if you know of a company that utilizes an LA1, feel free to list it below, but do not link it. Do not link it. If you link it, YouTube will, will nix the comment. So many of you that follow this channel, post links below it, but YouTube has not been favorable to links, at least on our particular channel. Also too, the source of the LA1 strain that you utilize, that would be the next question, is as follows. And this is the company that provided the source. ATCC American Type Culture Collection is a nonprofit global biological resource center and standards organization and a leading developer and supplier of authenticated cell lines and microorganisms. Quoting, we leverage our rich history and knowledge to provide the products, services, and resources scientists need to conduct critical life science research. So what I'm getting at, they didn't buy it from a company. They actually got it from a company which specializes in microorganisms research, microorganism research. But just the same, it's incredible. If lactobacillus acidophilus, this particular strain, LA1, could increase the intestinal tight junction barrier so effectively, so fast, where it could actually have the potential use in healing or at least helping people mitigate symptoms or whatever, get some relief uh, from everything from colitis to beta celiac disease to, uh, you know, IBD. Uh, that is just incredibly, incredibly promising information that needs to be brought forward to you and again if i had a source for the la1 i'll link it below if you find one for the la1 feel free to list the company don't link it but list the company below and maybe we could bring some help or relief to individuals seeking it but as always humbly gratitude to the researchers because without them what would i be doing on this video channel so to say all right so and plus the fact is too a lot of this stuff gets missed from news pools and this is the stuff that really that can help people at least desire deserves at least a little bit of a mention especially for all the individuals with intestinal disorders so if they haven't done it then i shall or we shall do it together gratitude humble gratitude to the researchers thank you for watching as always and I look always forward to doing this again next week with you. catch y'all next time Bye.